everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for April the 10th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access here to the VIP Club section. You see it has a whole bunch of great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is underway a couple weeks in now, so we're going to take a look at some of the games for April 10th. Uh, it's a full slate of games. We'll take a look at four of them. You can see Chicago and Minnesota. The first one we want to look at is the New York Yankees and the Cleveland Guardians. The Yankees come in average up. You can see they're 4-2 over their last six games. They're coming off a 4-2 win over Philadelphia, while Cleveland is burning hot. They're 5-1 over their last six games. They're only lost coming 4-3 uh, against Oakland on April the 4th. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Yankees have been trending in games uh, opposite over-under, over-under, over-under the last six, while Cleveland has been involved in games over the line in five out of the six games they've played. Um, the score prediction has Cleveland by a 6-1 to one margin with a little bit better chance in the toss of a coin at 52%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see that both teams have the downward trend. Um, plus 18 for Cleveland and plus three for the Yankees. Notice this is as of April the 7th. This has not been updated over the last couple of days. Look for updates soon. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see that the Yankees have been stable at plus two. Cleveland has not been so far this year at minus two. In the end, though, I think Cleveland will take this one at home. I like them in this game going over the line. The next game we want to look at, we have Houston-Pittsburgh. That's not the one we want to look at. Oakland-Baltimore, Boston-Tampa Bay. This is the next one uh, we want to look at. You can see that Boston comes into play average. Uh, winners who just won out of their last uh, four, and their three losses were all to Pittsburgh. Four to one, four to one, and seven to six. Tampa Bay is coming in burning hot. They have won their last six games. If you look at the over-under, Notice that Tampa Bay has been involved in games over the line in their last three and four out of their last six, while Boston has been involved in a game over the line just one out of their last three. The score predictor likes Tampa Bay by a huge margin, eight to three, but notice the confidence in predictions only 29% at this point. So take a look as it gets closer to the game to see if this has changed at all. On the power ranks indicator, Tampa Bay a huge upward uh, climb there up to plus 29, while Boston was level at plus six for a couple of days. Now they have climbed up to plus nine after their last win. Nick Pavetta is scheduled to pitch for Boston. Tampa Bay has not yet named their starting pitcher. Pavetta comes in 0-1 uh, with a good ERA of 1.80, but he is a minus $100 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that Boston has been uh, yeah, moderately stable, just at zero right now. But Tampa Bay has been very stable at plus six so far this year. That just means they've been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I do like the Rays in this one in a game over the line. Miami and Philadelphia, San Diego, New York. That would be a good game, but we're not going to take a look at that one. There's a couple others that we want to look at instead. And you notice the comments that some people are making on these games. So take a look at those as well. Kansas City, Texas. The next game we want to look at is this one here, St. Louis and Colorado. You know, as neither team is playing very well, um, St. Louis is um, ice cold down. They have lost their last three, while Colorado is ice cold up. They're just two and four over their last six. Steven Matz is scheduled to pitch for St. Louis. Colorado has not yet named its starter. Matz so far is 0-1 with a 6.75 ERA and is a minus 100 dollars on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the over-under, you can see that St. Louis has been involved in games equally over and under over their last six, and the same as Colorado. And the score predictor has St. Louis by a five to one margin with a pretty high level of confidence in the prediction of about 76%. The power ranks indicator shows that St. Louis was at plus 24. On April the 3rd, they dipped significantly over, over one day, and now they're back up slightly to plus 16 while Colorado reached the bottom of, my, of plus two on April the 4th, and now they are up to plus five. The stability factor 
shows that Colorado has been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status and upward climb to plus three, while St. Louis was level, and now they're down to minus one, so they have not been very stable. In the end, I like the Cardinals to come out on top on the road, but I will pass on the over-under bet. The last game we want to look at, and probably the best game of the day, as we scroll down through, you will see it, the Dodgers and the Giants, a classic divisional matchup in the NL West. The Dodgers come in burning hot, winners of their last three and four and two over their last six, while the Giants are average status and they have alternated wins and losses over their last six. Their last game was a 16 to six blowout win, and you notice that they've been scoring a lot of runs in their wins, 16, 12, and seven. And that uh, shows here with them being involved in games over the line of four out of their last six, Dodgers and three out of the last six. The score prediction likes a lower scoring game, though, compared to what these two teams have been putting up. 5-3 in favor of Los Angeles with confidence and prediction of 66%. The power ranks indicator shows that Dodgers are on upward climb from plus 3 all the way up to plus 20, or plus 5, excuse me, up to plus 23 over the last few days. While the Giants have taken a dip from 17 down to 7. In the end, I like the Dodgers to continue their mastery over the Giants. They won the last five games between them last season. I like that trend to continue. Let's take the Dodgers in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for April the 10th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.